This realization is that there are two aspects of existence, of life. A very warm welcome to all of you in this Monday evening meditation session with me, Dhyanse. I'm thankful to all of you because you came in this rain. You chose meditation over other things for the evening. I'll be guiding you through the next 60 minutes into introspection, into meditation. I see there are a couple of new faces for them. Very briefly, what we are going to do today is just like the format that we have every time where I introduce the, f the meditation, the theme for the first 15-20 minutes and then we do meditation for the rest 30 minutes and if there is any time left we take questions, we discuss if there is anything to be discussed, if not then we stay quiet and we close the session. For today's session, I would like to share something that I have as a realization constantly in my meditations over the last two decades. Whenever I sit in meditation, this one realization always remains. And I thought of sharing this realization today with you. This realization is that there are two aspects of existence, of life. One is the truth and the other is the illusion. The truth that arises out of consciousness, out of being conscious and the illusion that arises out of our unconsciousness. So please come in. And these two things, these two aspects of existence, these two aspects of life, the truth, the illusion, they both are playing with each other. In wisdom traditions, it's called as Leela. It's the play of the truth and the illusion, the consciousness and the unconsciousness. Those who choose to be with the unconsciousness, with the illusion, they become a part of this world. They go on setting goals in life. Please take a seat. And they get carried away with the illusion of what this life, what this existence has to offer. And there are those who dedicate their entire life to the truth, they go on a spiritual journey, they become spiritual leaders, they become religious leaders or they get absorbed in the pure truth. They only dedicate their entire life for the truth. For me as a meditator, almost throughout my life, what I realized is getting carried away with the illusion or getting carried away with the truth. Both are not my path. I'm not suggesting anything here today. All I'm sharing is what has been the path for me as a meditator over the last two decades, almost my entire life, where I saw that this play between the truth and the illusion is something both have to be lived at the same time. Sometimes we are unconscious, sometimes we are conscious. It's like when you go and watch a movie and while you're watching the movie sometimes you get carried away with the illusion of the movie and you cry when there is an emotional scene or you laugh when there is laughter on the screen and there are moments when you realize oh you're just watching a movie it's just a movie if you just get carried away with the movie that's also not the perfect way of watching the movie if you just always 
see the truth that you're just watching a movie and it's just a movie, you won't enjoy the movie. For me, as a meditator, that has been the constant to observe and to live both the illusion and the truth. This illusion in wisdom traditions is called as Maya, the world that we live in and everything that is created, everything that starting from who am I to what is all this world around us is all created out of this illusion. As a meditator, what is the starting point to live both the illusion, to live both the truth, is to witness both of them, is to understand both of them, is to observe both of them playing in your life, having a balance in your life, and just being a witness, taking a step back and witnessing the illusion, witnessing the truth. For today's meditation, the starting point of that witnessing is with oneself, is the question, who am I? We're not concerned with the world around, we are simply concerned with ourselves, who am I? If some of you here are on a spiritual quest, on a journey in their life to find out who they really are, this session is very significant for you all for those who are on this genuine quest of understanding oneself beyond words, beyond descriptions, who am I? How do we approach this question, who am I? Do we approach this intellectually? Do we approach this emotionally? Do we approach this spiritually? In wisdom traditions, there is a key to answer this question, to separate the illusion, to separate the truth, to understand who am I and that key is whatever is changing, whatever is not permanent is the illusion, whatever remains constant, whatever remains permanent is the truth. Now in this backdrop of what remains, what keeps on changing and what remains constant, how do we understand ourselves? There are five layers of our being and this is just one of the many ways of understanding oneself. For today's session, we're going to go into these five layers of our being and peel the onion of our being layer by layer in reaching from the illusion to the truth of who we are. It starts with the physical body. In yogic traditions, it's called the Annamaya Kosha. Anna means food, physical matter. Maya, Maya, the illusion, the illusion of the physical. Kosha is the layer. Annamaya Kosha, the layer of the physical body, the illusion of the physical body that we carry with us all throughout our lives. When we are born, how big are we? This small, handful, few grams. And throughout our life, we keep on changing. The body keeps on changing. The body grows. Even if the size of the body remains constant, but everything about the body keeps on changing. Everything that is there in your physical body is changing all the time. And one day comes when this physical body is no more. What makes you say that you are the same person who was when you were born, when you were five years old, when you were 10 years old, when you are now at whatever age you are and what you will be when you are 50, 60? What makes you, when you look at the picture, what makes you say that that's you? The body is constantly changing. What is it that is not changing? What is that sense that is not changing? Start with that. Keep this notion, even if as an assumption for today's meditation, whatever is changing is not you. You have it, but it's not you. And whatever is not changing is you. So the body, you have it. You take it from the outside world, from the earth, 
from the food that you eat and you grow and one day you leave it. So the body is the illusion, you are not the body. That would be the first layer that we will take our awareness to. The second layer, the prana maya kosha, prana, the energy. What is running in this body? Breath, incoming breath, outgoing breath. We are taking the prana, the life energy from somewhere and going through in our body with this breath throughout our lives, in and out. There is a constant exchange of this energy, the circulation of energy that is going on between you and the outside world. That is what is the pranamaya kosha. That layer of your existence where you are just the energy that is going on between you and your outside world. That, that exchange that is happening is happening with the pranamaya kosha, meaning your energy body. If you go deeper, one level deeper, you'll come to what is known as Manumaya Kosha, your mind. The layer of your mind, the mind screen where you see all your thoughts, all your imaginations, all your projections. That layer, what is that layer? Where these thoughts are keep on changing. They come and go, emotions come and go, ideas come and go, concepts come and go. Where are they coming and going? That layer of your being is in yogic traditions called as Manomaya Kosha or the mind, the layer of the mind, that being, the, the layer of mind of your being. We'll become a witness to that and we'll go one step deeper. When you realize that even that layer of mind is changing and you go one level deeper, you come to what is known as Gyan Kosha, which is your, the layer of knowledge, Vigyan Maya Kosha, the layer of all the knowledge that you have about yourself, about the world, about whatever you have learned throughout your life, all that knowledge is comprising of this layer of Gyanamaya Kosha, of the, of the layer of knowledge that you carry in your being, which is very, very deep, subtle, embedded in your being, only when you're silent, only when your awareness penetrates through the body, through the energy, through the mind, you come to realize that you are nothing but a collection of all this knowledge that you have carried throughout your life. Is there something deeper than that? You see that this knowledge also keeps on changing. What your notions are about what is right, what is wrong, how the world is, who you are, also keeps on changing. That knowledge is also not permanent. Which means there is one level deeper. When you go one level deeper, you come to what is known as the bliss body, the Anandamaya Kosha. This is the fifth and the final layer of your being which can come in your experience, which can come in your awareness when you sit in meditation, when you go in silence. And what is this bliss body? That sense of silence, that sense of bliss, of peace, of inner peace, which has become a goal for so many spiritual traditions. But it's not a goal, you have it in you. You have that inner peace always in you. All you need to go is deep down in yourself and come in tune, come in touch with that layer of your being which is known as Anandamaya Kosha, the bliss body. Is there something more? Since the witness can witness all these five bodies, all these five layers of the being, the witness must be something else. Throughout this journey of witnessing these five layers, you will realize that there is something constant. All these layers are changing, all the experience of these layers are changing, but there is something that remains constant in your experience, in your realization, in your deepest silence in your deepest of awareness 
and that has no name that is you that is the truth that is something that remains constant permanent it was never born it will never die these five layers are born they will die but this something that is just the awareness just the witness just this deeper sense of that you could witness all these five layers is constant in today's meditation we are going to go layer by layer and allow ourselves to just try to witness these layers one by one so we'll go from the body and go one level deeper to the pranic body one level deeper to the mind body one level deeper to the knowledge body and the final bliss body once you have gone through the witnessing of all these five layers of your being try to see whether you can recognize something that is not changing while all these five things and the experience of these five layers is changing can you come to something in you that has no name that has no definition that has no shape no size no description and is not changing if you can come to that stay there stay in the silence in the awareness of that which is not changing start with the body end with the unchanging permanent self simple awareness in silence of meditation i'll guide you through each of these layers to tell you when to move from which layer to the next layer and so on but when it comes to silence when it comes to going beyond these five layers that's where you're on your own you'll sit in silence for 5 to 10 minutes remaining in tune with what is not changing with what is always there with what is permanent in you and simply stay in that silence for some minutes before we sit in this wonderful process of going through layers of our being i would request you to shut off your mobile phones if they are still on and take a nice sit comfortable sitting posture even if you have to sit next to the wall just to keep your back straight and sit in an easy posture which is not coming in your way which is not keeping you always in pain and your body in pain try to take a easy posture and then we will move into meditation close your eyes take a nice deep breath inhale from the nose and also exhale from the nose arrive in this moment here with me to go into deep into meditation for the next minutes allow your body to settle and your breath to also settle in a nice rhythm of breathing in and out
Keep your face relaxed, shoulders down, your back straight, in a posture that is comfortable for you. Now bring your awareness to your body and just take a moment to recognize your body, become aware of all the parts of your body. chest your navel your back your hips Give yourself another minute or so to settle your awareness in your body. Notice whatever comes naturally to you about your body. As you remain aware of the body, take this moment to realize that this body is changing. It's never the same. And ask yourself, what is it that is not changing as your body changes?
I'm aware of the body which is changing and I'm also aware of what is not changing Now feel the sensations in your body that happen with every inhalation and exhalation. As you breathe in and breathe out, the energy that is flowing in your body sensations that are flowing in your body keep your awareness on the sensations As the breath moves in and out, the sensations keep on changing. This is a layer of energy of your being. Remain in awareness of these sensations and feel them changing as you breathe in and out. As you feel these sensations, direct your awareness to what's not changing. And feel that sense of witness of the observer who remains constant. Keep your awareness on the sensations as your breath comes in and out.
observe the sensations observe the observer deeper and now observe your thoughts on your mind screen thoughts coming and going simply observe them and allow your awareness to settle on this manomaya kosha the layer of mind screen Don't touch any thought, just observe it. See how one thought is coming and going and the next thought comes in and goes. Observe all the movements of your mind. As you observe your mind, try to feel what is not changing. mind keeps on moving let it flow you simply observe Go deeper into yourself and realize everything that you know about yourself, all the knowledge. I am this, I am that.
take note of all this layer of knowledge that you have about yourself. Also notice the sense of what remains not changing. What has remained throughout this meditation constant? The witness, the observer, the sense of awareness, go deeper into yourself. Be in tune with your inner silence. There's stillness, peace in your heart. Allow yourself to tune into this peace, silence and stillness that is there in you. Fall deep into this silence. Let yourself go. Let yourself go. You're absolutely still. silent and aware.
stay in this moment in the stillness and awareness You are never changing your awareness silent pure awareness now gently become aware of your breath flowing in and out as you come back to the body very gently and softly become aware of your body Come back to the body. To the sensations in your body. To your mind. this moment and when you feel ready very softly you may open your eyes If you wish to remain in the stillness, stay there. If you wish to move your body, do that.
this is the year and time where two things become most common relaxation and some reflection statistics say that after Christmas most people quit their jobs <laughs> or bring any other change in their life which they wanted to bring so as you get time or a chance to reflect to relax in this holiday times that are coming up take some moment to go deep in yourself and do some introspection do some meditation sit in silence this will not only take you closer or bring you closer to yourself but also allow you to get energy or gather the courage and the energy for all the practicalities of life the way you want them to be the way you want them to change the way you want them not to change with that just a couple of minutes we have here if you have any questions if you have anything to share from the session from your experience what we went through in the last 30 minutes today we sat for quite long we were sitting for more than 30 minutes in silence i'm happy about that that not all of you were crying out of pain <laughs> anything anybody who would like to share your experience good or bad any realizations was it easy to follow this is one of the one of the frameworks one of the ways in which you could take layer by layer of your self and go deeper into yourself there are other direct ways as well where you start with silence where you start with the inner core in these sessions we touch upon all these different ways every time and i'm always curious to know how it went for you is it something that you would like to take back home and practice more or is this something that you would just experiment here and then forget about it anything is fine with me but i'm always curious to know how is it for you anybody it gets very subtle in the fifth also for me to guide you in that also becomes very difficult because this is such a subtle feeling sensation or realization that you direct yourself towards it when you sit and and do this meditation on your own that is why i was describing this before so that in case you you're not able to follow it becomes difficult at least you can recognize and and keep this structure for yourself and while you do this at home you could repeat this and maybe you could go even deeper when you're sitting all by yourself and directing your own awareness um, inside of yourself somebody at the back yes being in the air and not to be like um 
Sure. Sure. Uh, this this question is very valid not just for this meditation, but for all meditations that we do here or wherever you do. If thoughts come, what to do? Don't try to stop them, because you will not win. Thoughts in the battle of you and the thoughts, you will not win right now. There are practices to control the thoughts. Those are yogic practices that are not necessary for meditation, that are not necessary for what we are doing here. Those guys are on a different lifestyle, on a different journey, who are purifying their body or purifying their mind. They don't live the same life that we have, who reach to that stage where they can control their thoughts. And the good news is that we don't need to control our thoughts. All we need to do is observe them. When you observe your thoughts, you will see thoughts are coming and they are very much there and then they are going away. Thoughts are coming again and you get carried away. You start planning for tomorrow or get carried away with something hap that happened yesterday. The moment you realize that you got carried away, come back. And just repeat this process of coming back and observing them. While you do that, what happens is, first of all, they, the energy of these thoughts that take you along will reduce. You will go less and less along with your thoughts. Maybe in the beginning you're going along with every thought. And afterwards you will go maybe with every third thought, every fifth thought. So that's one thing that will happen. And the second thing is the gaps between these thoughts will increase. So one thought came and went away and there was silence, there was awareness. Another thought comes in and goes away. There's silence, there is awareness. This gap of silent awareness it keeps on increasing if you don't wrestle with your mind. Otherwise, you will just keep on wrestling for 10 minutes, 15 minutes or even an hour and you will feel frustrated afterwards that uh, you could not control your thoughts or you could not sit down in silence. So, allow it to happen. It happens for everyone. It will happen for you as well provided that you don't try to control your thoughts, don't try to control your mind, don't try to control anything. Throughout meditation, only one rule, not don't try to control anything, sit. If silence happens, good. If it doesn't happen, observe. Just observe. If crazy things happen, also observe. Silence happens, also observe. So this witnessing, this observation, this silent observation where you are not participating, you're simply observing, is the key, is the essence of the overall practice of meditation. And this is not just faced by you, but by everybody, uh, everybody who does meditation once or many times comes across this question, what should I do when I have all these thoughts in front of me? Anything else? If not, then I would like to thank you for joining me in the silence in this meditation on this evening. We will meet two times more this year for the next two Mondays and after that we will have the break and start again in January on 7th of January. So schedule as usual Monday from 7 to 8 p.m. And I look forward to having most of you guys going on this journey with me next year as well. Thanks a lot. Namaste.